something like this pretty <clears throat> like as you mentioned this is uh even in a big city this is pretty unheard of yeah it, it's certainly uh not something very common um you know to have so many robberies uh, in a short period of time commercial type robberies where the suspects are obviously going from one location to another on mm -hmm. uh, robbing businesses um, it's uh you know, not something that we that that is very common, no matter where you're at. Uh, um, so for for our officers, it was quite busy Saturday, uh, late afternoon and evening. When it came, uh, it, it started looking pretty obvious of the same people involved in each one of these. Did you have to bring in people from? like some of the officers who maybe weren't even working do you have to bring in extra officers well yeah anytime we have we always have investigators that are on call uh in this this type of incident uh where you have so many uh we did bring in some individuals to start mm -hmm. working on on these cases obviously we wanted to get the information out to the media uh to try and uh, let these in individuals know that that their pictures are out there uh you know our primary goal is to get it to stop and now our goal is to solve it and bring these people to justice. Uh, you know, if they're watching this, uh, we're coming for you. Um, we we have a good network of investigators, and we'll leave no stone unturned to try and solve these crimes. I saw some comments from uh, the public wondering if there was a way, perhaps, uh, your department could get word out to other businesses, like other motels and uh, restaurants well, or whatever. You know, the, the, particularly the motels within Rochester, they're they're kind of a tight knit group, and uh, they they generally get the word out. Um, whether it's and some of that is due to uh, the nature of the business. Other, you know, we have worked with hotels. Uh, for things like human trafficking, so they they have a network of of connecting and making contact, and uh, you know anytime you have any any business that you're in where you have cash on hand and you're open to the public, I think you should always have a plan uh, to keep your employees safe, uh, and that 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 plan is compliance. Um, and I think the clerks in these incidents did exactly what they were supposed to do. Um, you know, the last thing we want it's one thing. If money's taken, but it's another thing if someone's hurt, mm -hmm. uh, that that that's uh, not worth it, obviously. Mm -hmm.